Welcome to today's webinar as we feature Everlast Board and Batten Siding. During today's webinar, we will begin with an Everlast Board and Batten product snapshot. Then we'll go into Everlast Board and Batten general installation guidelines and finish up with Everlast Board and Batten key installation requirements, do's and don'ts. Everlast Board and Batten delivers a one piece design versus a two piece where you have a board and a separate batten. This reduces time, eliminates unsightly fasteners and or caulk. Everlast has taken technical leaps in material science. Everlast siding features C-Core, a mineral enriched composite substrate that is virtually impervious to siding's number one enemy, which we all know is moisture. To this remarkable substrate, an advanced UV resistant acrylic cap stock is fused and then embossed with an actual grain pattern of rough sawn top grade cedar producing Everlast Cedar Touch Finish, the most authentic on the market. Everlast Board and Batten consists of 10 colors. Please consult your dealer for availability. In 2020, Everlast launched three new colors, Blue Spruce, Saddlewood, and storm gray and replaced polar white with natural white. Everlast also offers color match trim. Our three and a half inch outside corner post, three and a half inch lineal, one and a half inch J lineal, and our two-piece perimeter one and a half inch trim with receiver. For Everlast Board and Batten, it is highly recommended to team up with our two-piece perimeter one and a half inch trim and receiver to terminate around doors, windows, and soffit. This makes for a perfect combination and will save time on the job. We will now begin the installation section of our webinar today, starting with general information. Check all building codes prior to installation. Read all instructions for Everlast board and batten and trim products at www.everlastsiding.com. Then click on Pro Resources. There you will find instruction guides in instruction videos. Also note there's information in our instruction guides which we show here on job site storage and best practices for storage. Do not stack siding more than three skids high and do not store bundles in a vertical position. Best practice, siding should be stored inside when possible. Always avoid storing in direct sunlight. Products should be covered and protected prior to installation using a tarp and or supplied shroud. Keep siding away from a heat source. And when product is stored outside, use wood or an equivalent support to avoid direct contact with the ground in conjunction with the covering. Continuing with general information, it is critical to check all wall surfaces to ensure walls are flat and level. Proper flashing around doors and windows and weather resistant barrier required. Fastening into studs is not required, but must be installed into a minimum 7 16 sheathing fastener to penetrate a minimum of three quarters of an inch beyond the sheathing or 
one and an eighth inch into wood studs. Fasteners use corrosion resistant nail or screw. Nail or screw head diameter must be 3 eighths of an inch to 7 sixteenths of an inch. Maximum shank diameter of 0 0.160 inches. Another benefit when installing Everlast siding, no special tools are required. We recommend using an 80 tooth fine tooth saw blade. An additional Everlast feature tip, Everlast siding can be scored and snapped on parallel cuts along the length of the panel using a utility blade. Creating a balanced wall. It is important to create a balanced appearance on the wall when installing board and batten siding. This means it visually appears that the batten strips are the same distance from both the start and the termination ends. You may need to trim the batten end from the panel on the first and last termination panel to maintain a balanced wall appearance. There is some math involved here. First, measure the total distance of the wall. Please make note the measurement needs to be taken after the trim has been installed. Divide the total distance of the wall by 10.875. The answer you will get, you need to round down to the whole number. This will give you the number of full panels needed on the wall. Multiply the number of full panels needed by 10.875. This will give you the total coverage of full panels. Subtract total length of wall by total coverage of full panels. This will give you the uncovered length. Divide the uncovered length by 2, and this will give you the dimension for the first starter piece and the termination piece. For example, if the wall measures 125 inches total, you will divide that by 10.875 inches. The total number of panels will be 11.49. You will round that number down to 11. Take the 11 panels, times that by 10.875, and you will get the total distance the full panels will cover. In this case, it's 119.625 inches. Next. Take the total distance, 125 inches, subtract the 119.625 inches, and you will get the dimension of area of wall to yet be covered. In this case, 5.375 inches. Take the 5.375 inches, divide that by 2, and you will get the total dimension for the first starter panel and the last termination panel. In this case is 2.69 inches. To recap, total number panels needed for the installation is 12. 11 full panels will be used on this installation. And the first piece and last piece, which is your starter panel and your termination panel, will be cut at 2.69 inches. If the first and last panel calculate less than two and a half inches, you will not be able to achieve a balanced wall. You will need to manipulate either the starter panel or the end termination panel and use full panels for the remainder of the wall. This way you will achieve the two, minimum two and a half inch width.
Installing over block, poured concrete, or brick. Siding must be installed over 1 inch by 3 inch furring strips, applied horizontally, 14 inches on center. For best fastening results, we recommend using screws or ring shank nails. Trim. Pocketed trim must be installed on both left and right side of the wall and at the top. Trim is not required along the bottom of the panels. Also install trim around doors and windows. We recommend using Everlast two-piece perimeter trim. Expansion and contraction. Everlast board and batten siding, you need to allow for a quarter inch of movement at the top or the termination end of the panel, as indicated in the red circle below. Position and pin the first nail at the top of the slot of the most bottom nail slot of the panel. Continue fastening through the center of the nail slot every third slot intervals. Everlast is a floating siding system. Always leave a minimum 1 32nd inch gap between the fastener head and the nailing hem. Starting the first panel. The first panel will act as the starter strip. Make sure this is plumb square. Board and batten you can install from left to right or right to left. The nail hem should always be in the direction of the install. Installation aid. On each panel there's an installation line guide. This is an aid to ensure the panel is fully seated within the interlock. Always make sure the line is completely covered by the edge of the batten strip. Transitions. Board and batten panels cannot be stacked end to end of each other, so this product will not require seam brackets. If the wall is taller than one course, more than 12 feet, it is required to separate the courses by transitions. There are several options to different types of transitions based on desired look. Transition piece must be Z-flash prior to applying the second course. Finishing the last course. If you must cut the nail hem off to terminate the last piece, use a color match trim nail to fasten the last piece or paint the head of the fastener with color match paint. Pre-drill a hole slightly larger than the shank of the fastener. Fasten every 16 to 24 inches. If using our two-piece perimeter trim, drill a hole within one inch of the edge of the panel to hide the fastener behind the trim. This concludes our presentation on Everlast board and batten siding. For additional installation guidance and detail, please go to www.everlastsiding.com, then click on Pro Resources. You can also contact Technical Services at toll-free 844-494-7900. The Everlast team here at Chelsea Building Products want to thank you for joining us today.